Hello everyone and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac, in which we are 1000% mega nerds because we're the best at this game that anyone has ever been. Should we do the daily? No, maybe I'll do that later. Uh, or maybe I'll do it. Spam it. Here's an Isaiah's room. No. Ooh, no. I'm excited to start a Eden streak and I did. It was hard mode, but I actually checked after I pressed the space. But what do we start with here? Oh, damn, it seems okay, sort of Isaac style. We do have $3 built there, so that could be dangerous at least to start off with. And we have the Pokeball, the, the friendly ball, got a whatever them all, uh, which I have absolutely no idea how to use effectively. So we may want to think about uh, replacing that, actually, um, sooner rather than later. Or maybe we try and use it. I mean, one of the benefits of an Eden start is that you don't have to Decide whether you want to pick up the thing that you have or not. Maybe we can try and get that large spider up there. Ooh. Oh god, we've only got one HP as well, so don't get hit again, because that'll be a bad start to your, you know, vestigial Eden streak. We got it. We're the best. So at some point, we'll be able to throw uh, the ball, and that will pop out and be on our side. We don't have a... This is very dangerous, but I'm tempted to use the tower card here. Hide over here. Kill all the badges. We didn't get a spirit heart, which is what I was hoping for. We did get the small rock. Um, <laughs> I mean, I would like HP to drop ever. Because if three dollar bill ever gives us an exploding tear effect, we're gonna we're gonna be you know, we're gonna have a bad time. I don't want to have a bad time. It's not an XL floor. It is an XL floor. That is even worse. Okay. So if you would be so kind as to explode that sort of be near that center drop when you your jumpy out thing. I mean, you could have by now saved my life, but you've chosen not to. We will continue. Now we throw our Pokeball and see what happens. It does seem to be pretty much going hell for leather on that thing. I am not... I'm a little bit worried about when we get a... Um... Ooh, thank you. A little bit worried about when we get a very low range shot. Are you just... Owning everything. This isn't. Oh, you got burned. Played with fire and you got burned, my man. Look, that um, that particular enemy just now did. Well, it used to be an enemy. It was on our side all of a sudden. Did quite a lot of good for us, actually. Um, we only have one HP still, which is quite alarming. And whenever we get that proptosis effect, that is what's really putting me off right now because we have to get. Yeah, th thanks for demonstrating. Uh, I'm still not happy with it. There we go. A bomb would be great. No, no, no. Death's touch right now. Ooh, if we get... Yes. Having picked up Yon single HP. Single HP! No, no, no. Single coin. We can now buy this spirit heart. Feel a lot better about our chances. We did take damage on the next cell floor. Red heart damage on the next cell floor is not a good idea. Uh, because it means that we have... We're less likely to get our deal with the devil. Which is... Otherwise guaranteed on an XL floor on the first floor because it counts as the second of the two floors. And obviously normally you would expect to get uh, deal with the devil on the second floor unless you play extremely badly like I have done. Um, had I noticed that we had a, only a single HP to start with, I probably would have made the same mistake. So I can't really pretend like, uh, you know, there is... <laughs> You know, it's not like my initial inobservation has caused us to be in this slightly difficult situation. It is entirely due to... I'll have that one. Why not? It's entirely due to my bad play. Um, but we are what we are. We are in the position that we're in. We still haven't found either item room, so we're going to keep looking. Both these item rooms could turn out to be extremely valuable for us in terms of... Um, which are right next to each other, which is nice. Uh, in terms of being able to beat up the boss, especially without taking considerable amount, and it does, because we are now slightly faster, which is something I was about to start complaining about, is our speed. We're now a bit, little bit faster, and we have the penetrative shot, uh, which doesn't sound as bad as it is. You beat that up. So, I mean, Larry Jr. versus penetrative and tears is... got no chance, basically, especially when those tears are... Homing and another HP. If we do get a deal with the devil, at least we'll be in a good position to take it. But as mentioned earlier, our um, thanks for that. <laughs> our failure to not take damage 
before we found the spirit heart. Has compromised but not squandered. Said opportunity. And of course it could be a shit deal with the devil even if we do get it. I'm just hoping that $3 bill's gonna have... The problem with $3 bill uh, is that sometimes the tier effects can be detrimental to yourself. We did get it and we got a tiers upgrade which is great. Uh, and I think we take all of this because... We take this for sure because it gives us spirit hearts. And we take this because it's basically free and it's a guppy item. We take these because we don't know what's good for us. Look down and health up. That was exactly the right order in which to do that. And I'm not going to go and min-max and get that HP from there, although we could. I'm not going to. So, pretty good floor, all said. Mostly because we did earn the deal with the devil, even though we didn't deserve the deal with the devil, I should say. Um, our tiers upgrade from the second boss there is actually going to increase our DPS considerably to the point where I am quite happy to suggest that we're going to be set uh, on DPS for quite a long time, especially when we get these homing tiers. But I was mentioning that $3 bill, I think $3 bill can produce um, possibly, oh that was very close, uh, Ipecac shots. I'm not sure about that now I think about it, um, but also uh, fire mind tiers. And what I'm worried about is that the shape of our tiers now, the triangular shape of the tiers as a result of Sagittarius, means that we will not be able to tell when our tiers have become dangerous to us. As we gain more and more HP, of course, that's less and less of a bother. I am using this, and I think I'm using it effectively. Basically using it to get rid of whichever enemy I consider to be most annoying at the time, and that was extremely lucky that we managed that as well. That was probably the enemy that I wanted to take. And I would suspect, although I couldn't guarantee, so don't quote me on it, that um, if you pick up a champion, you don't get to keep the champion nature of it. I assume that when you let it back out of its Pokeball, it's uh, just a normal enemy, but, you know, we don't know that, and I should probably test that. You're shooting at me, are you? This goes to show how obstinate the bonies are. Let me go to the item room first. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, because they will continue to try and attack you, even though they are your friend. Can we please go to a different room? I'm very much uh, finding that to be of grave importance. So the bony thinks it can beat that up. And holy light is also an amazing item, to be quite honest with you. Please. <laughs> it's this fucking room again. Here we go. Uh, so it turns out when we have... Uh, what is this? I think that was Mysterious Liquid, but it turns out when we have a tear effect, our tears are no longer circular. So there you go. Uh, our tears become circular once again, I should say. What did we... Uh... Oh, I used the Pokeball thinking it had something in it, but of course we already emptied the bony out of it. My mistake. I think we've got everything we want on this floor, actually. An Orbital would not go down too badly. Uh, which would make me very happy to find some sort of either random or activated invincibility. Although our, our tier damage is good enough that I'm not hugely, you know, I'm not massively excited to take this orbital and use it for damage, basically. Um, because we are doing well enough, we don't need to do that. Hopefully we get an arcade on this floor so we can go in there. And again, these enemies just fall apart under... The, the force of my piercing shots. We have found our item room straight away, which is pretty nice because it means I don't have to go trekking around looking for it. It's possibly a boss rush ready run, which is a very odd thing to say. Um, but I... That was terrible dodging. I honestly thought I was faster. Uh, uh, I don't tend to manage to get to boss rush because I'm usually too slow. And piercing shots with lost contact is amazing. Uh, let's do this in order. First of all, I don't tend to get to boss rush because I usually play too slowly, but our DPS early on here, that's a fire mine by the way, our DPS early on here is sufficiently good that I'm happy to suggest that it might be a possibility that we do get to boss rush. It's because we're going so fast all of a sudden. And there's a boss already. So yeah, I think we've pretty much got a bead on boss rush. If we want to, we can spend more time on these floors and try and get some benefit out of them. For example, I would like to see if we can get the compass and then determine whether... Ah, we're going to die! We died. That hurt. That really, really hurt. We're very slow, so we can't actually run away from those enemies just yet. Uh, which is annoying, because that's the only way to deal with them. 
Uh, I would like to get to the shop to see if we can get the compass. And I'd like to get the compass to see if we can get an arcade. And I'd like to get the arcade to see if we can get the boss trap room. I'd like to get into the boss trap room to see whether it's worth getting into the boss trap room, which is kind of a little bit of, you know, you probably want to know if it's worth it before you went to all that effort. Which is why I'm not putting so much effort into it right now. That's not going to be a secret room. The secret room is not by the boss trap room, unless it's in this direction. That is a possibility. It's not. I think we explore a little bit more. We're going pretty fast. Ten minutes at this stage. Oh, careful. This room can go fuck itself. Especially when we have Fire Mind. I told you. Fire Mind is extremely dangerous. We are in trouble here. Because I can't seem to hit these enemies because I keep standing on the spikes. There we go. There is HP on the ground. And we don't have a huge deal with the Devil Chance anyway. So I'm not salty about taking any red heart damage. I'm salty about taking that much red heart damage. Still no key. I mean, our look, we did get a look downhill, I think. Uh, but our look stat is not that bad. I mean, come on. And with this much advantage... I mean, look at that item tracker on the right-hand side there. There's no reason to be taking this much damage except for the fact that $3 bill, which we started with, so I didn't actually choose this, uh, is giving us deleterious tier effects. Especially with the, the proptosis one gives you the, you know, the range effect of proptosis, but it doesn't seem to give you the damage up effect of proptosis. Uh, I would like to go to any of these rooms, but we don't have any keys, so I'm probably going to say that I'm happy at, ooh, happy that I went to the, oh well, there you go, happy that I went to the item room. Yeah, this is going to be a super secret room. Please be the error room. This is not a super secret room. Colour me surprised. We do have two bombs left, so maybe, uh, can't even get to the shop. Unless that's a, sh oh, no, that's a double key room. Ah, okay, so maybe we can still get into the shop based on this room. We can't. I have no idea where the secret room in this floor is. One last hurrah. Not there. What strange floor? Well, we keep going. The hollow should be pretty easy with piercing shots, but I do have a history of walking straight into it. So, we'll withhold judgement on <laughs> whether I'm bad at this game. Until after we've beaten probably one of these bosses in the game. The halo also really helps. All stats up. One of which is going to be HP. I, I want to go to the cursed room, but I can't justify it. We don't have a very good luck stat, which means we're not getting really any payouts from these um, from the rooms that we beat. And because we're not getting the payouts from the rooms that we beat, we're not getting any keys, we haven't got any HP on the ground to make it worth you know, trying to go into the curse room and you know, get the HP back from having done so. And also, we don't have uh, any cards because we haven't had any drop, which would be required I say that, we're getting lots of drops. The power pill would have been perfect uh, about two minutes ago, but okay, okay. And we have Fire Mind again, so we can stand away from the enemy. Um, because we're not getting... I was complaining that we're not getting drops, but we are getting drops. The problem is... We have nine lives, though. Don't forget that. Um, the problem is... We're not getting drops that allow us to do things like go to the curse room. Although having nine lives, now that I've realised it, uh, we probably should be doing things like that more often because each of these lives, that was very lucky. Each of these lives is not that valuable in and of itself. This one has 3 HP. Of course there's greed in the shop. Can we pick up greed? Not if we miss, no. Now we have less HP. Because I was trying to... I've got the spider! I must have picked up a spider a while ago. Oh, I didn't realise. Okay. I can see forever. Nice. I can see forever. So when I accidentally used the Pokeball thinking there was uh, something in it. I accidentally picked up a spider and didn't realise. So now I've got a shitty little spider that's going to do no help for us whatsoever. I was saying that we can use nine lives if we really wanted to to play things like that, that judgement for example. This guy here. Uh, and just spend lives on it to try and get ourselves an advantage for the remainder of our lives. There's another possibility right there. Whoa. Did not expect that. So lost contact with piercing shots, uh, I was saying, is really, really good. And the reason it's really good is that it will destroy enemy tiers, but... Oh, that's a shame. It will not 
break your tiers as a result. So your tiers will completely bogart enemy tiers. Uh, and you will not lose your tier, which would not interact. So you are basically better than enemy shots right now. That's really, really good. Lost contact without piercing shots is a thing where you go, I really hope we get piercing shots with this. Because you're going to lose a lot of tears as you try and shoot through, especially bullet heli type enemies like you know, Mom's Heart, for example. I'm happy to have both right now. Uh, I wouldn't mind you know, basically any sort of advantage on this game. I mean, Little Box could... I think I've dropped trinkets occasionally. I'm not really sure. Um, but I, I want something that is a little bit more outrageous, you know? We, we're not getting our deals with the devil because we're taking red heart damage before we manage to find the spirit hearts, and I'm not finding the spirit hearts. Also, please note that piercing shots means you can't take, um, you can't shoot bombs away from you. So they go right through. Yeah, we didn't deserve it with the devil there apparently although we did have approximately a 50% chance we've been to the item room the shop contained greed and I tried to pokeball greed I'm just gonna leave because I don't know what I'm doing like I can't see I can't see where I'm going um, so we go to this floor hope for an arcade there is an arcade we can use the arcade to get into the boss trap room. like the previous boss trap room we accidentally made our way into it turned out we couldn't do anything about it anyway because we've just had so few keys on this entire run which is silly uh, we can do this. I think we do this. Uh, we'd have a power bill. That could be worth it. But I honestly think that we're going to be strong enough to be able to beat these bosses simply thanks to piercing shots plus shielded tears. Um, all the things that the boss can do are going to be ineffectual against us, basically. Because it's nice to have the holy light shot every now and then just stacking up the damage against them. It should be nice and quick. Even those things, as long as you keep firing, the explosion death shots are going to just be dashed against your own tears and you'll be fine. Let's see if there's a secret room here. That'd be nice. Oh. I wonder if we can... Uh, I assume that we can't Pokeball bosses, but I honestly have never tried. Do you dislike this room? Very much takes up all the space that you have to dodge in, but it's doable. Oh yeah, great. Give me prop tokens, tiny tears. What happens if we uh, Pokeball this Joker? Do we get it on a wall? Oh, we have to wait for it to recharge before we can try that. Whoa, there was another one. Oh, you're invisible, are you? Well, it's a good thing I didn't accidentally walk straight into you, which I was about to do. I see enough room. As long as you have the DPS. That's one of those ones. As long as you have the DPS. That room's easy enough. If you don't, you ain't got no chance to survive your time. Not a secret. I'm doing very badly on secret rooms today, apparently. At least we can get into the curse room if there is one at half price. Oh, you end up over there. Fair enough. So you should be stuck to the wall on each room, I assume. Yeah, there is one. That's actually a pretty decent enemy, because I'm wondering maybe if it. Power pill. Alges. I guess it's out again. <laughs> Brilliant. I'm wondering if the uh, position of it makes it very difficult for other enemies to actually hit it. Which basically means it's just a straight up advantage to us until something walks into it. Until we get basically another room like this one. It scares me every time it goes off because obviously I think it should be good. I wonder if other enemies will attack it, like on this room for example. Oh my god, I can't believe we didn't beat all of those with this much uh, damage and piercing shots. So I have to be careful not to believe that this enemy is... Uh, not to confuse other enemies, for instance, with this one. Oh, for five minutes. Thanks. Did I get that thing? I don't know. Could have been a completely squandered Pokeball just now. Can I have more than one? Let's see. Anything in it? Nothing in it. That's a shame. Boss, please. Not boss. That was a decent room. So, I guess now we're just heading towards the boss. Try and get into boss rush. We can't get out of boss rush, so we have to do it if we want to be part of it. This feels like a secret room. I'm going to use my last bomb. 
Oh my god. Should have used it on the fires. Try to get some more spirit hearts. Oh yeah, having the item room would be nice too. A key. A key helps with the item room game. Well, that was not worth the effort. Infestation is no good to anybody, but at least we found the boss already. Should be able to beat this boss fast enough to get into the boss rush, but then of course we're going to have to decide whether we want to do boss rush. Entirely based on the items therein. I picked up that spider. Um, okay, so Mom completely defeats that enemy because that enemy will stop and then Mom will pop out and kill it. Oh, careful. So this is another room where $3 bill can be really, really disadvantageous to you because as soon as $3 bill switches to something like Fire Mine, which is explodey, um, it becomes very, very easy to be near enemies at that point and then suddenly there's an explosion up in your grill. Not making us happy at all. Polaroid. Take Empty Vessel for the first decent deal with the devil in the whole game. Uh, that's not true. We did get the packs and nine lives on the previous one. And this life actually... Oh, money. Money, money, money. Who cares? Uh, wow, okay. Would you say that Cricket's body is better than Tech Point 5? I would say yes. And I would say that it's actually worth fighting for. So fight for it, we will. Let's get rid of Pin first. <coughs> no, let's get rid of... Peep first. Because it does more annoying things than monsters. Including Peep. Peep. Monster appears to be just sitting around shooting me. This, <coughs> pardon me, moi. This appears to be a champion boss rush, which is kind of expected because it was a champion mom fight. But yeah, I was going to say that means that things like fate might show up, and um, give us spirit hearts for dying. Yeah, I'm happy to have picked up uh, Cricket's body here because it's got such a, it's got such range that Cricket's body is actually ah, good shot actually good for us. Can we pick up anything? I mean, some enemies do produce other enemies, that's for sure. And this enemy might actually clear up some space for us in the grand scheme of things. In all these rocks and stuff. As might that champion war that's going on. Oh, there you are. Which would be nice for future enemies, because it would mean that we can sort of stand near these rocks where they spawn. Did the other one die? Probably from bombs. Careful. Now you don't want to allow it to shoot one bomb into the other bomb. So that would be silly. That's how I died recently on a run that I didn't record. I think it was a daily run. Does it hurt himself with these bombs? I don't really know. Um, yeah, it fired one bomb into another bomb. And then I got really, really salty. In Rebirth... No. Uh, you... All the, all the uh, troll bombs go off at the same time in Rebirth. Oh yeah, Champion's going to hurt full heart though. Hmm. Which means that if you step out of a room and go back into it again, all the troll bombs will explode at once. And thus uh, not interact with each other. But in Afterbirth it looks like they randomise the times on the fuses on troll bombs. So that they can still bounce off of each other even if you set them all off at the same time. Which means one of them can bounce into the, like shoot the other one into you, which will then explode and kill you because they do a full heart damage. Which is what happened. And I am salty even to this day. Don't have to deal with this particular wave because the Mask of Infamy can be very annoying. As can Gurdy. You can get the Mask of Infamy to walk on those spikes. Even though it appears to be floating, it counts as a ground-based enemy. Ah, this is the Gurdy that doesn't shoot you though, so it just goes on and on and then. If we're going to be using a cricket's body tears like this, the E, good. Good with that. I think cricket's body splits when it hits an enemy as well as when it lands on the ground. So if you have piercing shots with cricket's body, then every single time the piercing shot goes through an enemy or hits the ground, like a part of an enemy or hits the ground, just make sure you you kill the other guy. You managed to jump over is... I find that very hard to believe. Um, you're going to get more and more tears. So if it's a multi-part enemy, that thing is basically hosed and has no chance to survive. Should indeed make its time. Having this rate of fire with 
lost contact is also great because it means that even if we didn't have piercing shots, we would have sufficient amount of shit on the screen. That we'd have more tears than they would, basically. Put us in a very good position. Dark Bomb would be perfect right now. I mean, I'm not sad that we got Empty Vessel from the Deal with the Devil, but I am a little bit sad that it's not something that's good right now. Empty Vessel will be great if we can get two more one-heart deals, or one more two-heart deals. One more two-heart deals. Uh, in order to make use of Empty Vessel, but right now we're not getting any benefit from it at all. It's definitely something that's... Uh, value is entirely in potentiam right now. How am I doing so well? Just don't, don't question it. Do you want, shall I pick up a dip? A, a brown dip. Ooh, well done. Didn't react correctly to that, as you might have noticed. Not losing too much HP right now. Which is fine with me. And the uh, pin just owned itself by walking into me. Happy with this too. It doesn't look like your cricket's body shots go off um, when you break a tear, which is a shame, because I would like to. Honestly, I thought you were going to die before you got to me, but okay. Best touch is nice too. And the Holy Light, I mean, we can't pretend that Holy Light hasn't been here for all this time too. It has basically ended several enemies for us already. Little Steven dead? A little Steven dead. Another enemy that is hard countered by having piercing shots with uh, lost contact is Brownie there, because Brownie just fires a crap load of corn thingies at you. All have no effect because you just smash them and keep shooting it anyway. What have we got here? Uh, okay. That was actually um, not a good enemy to not be paying attention to. Because unlike many enemies that teleport like this, the Sir, Sir, Sir Rex there. I've forgotten the name. That particular boss will land on where you were, not when it jumped, but sort of a couple of seconds afterwards. So you have to keep moving. When Monstro jumps, ooh, that's all right. When Monstro jumps, it will land where you were. Oh, fuck! How long's that been there? It will land where you were when it jumped. But when the adversary, like, flies off, it will track you for a minute and then land. So, I want to watch out for that. Let's do the... Oh, no. I've just realised what this does. Apart from the fact that that's going to hurt. But Health up. Paralysis. Uh, this is going to restart it, unfortunately. Which I'd forgotten uh, until after I cancelled the room with a fool. Which makes me the fool. I am not so happy with Pokeball anymore, and I'm going to keep Guppy's head instead, because the flies are going to be useful. I mean, Pokeball is not being interesting enough for me to sacrifice something as good as Guppy's head to keep trying it out. We've not really managed to get much good out of it. We could you know, pick up most of these enemies if we wanted to. Um, but we have to hit them, and then it's like it's... Too much brain recalibration to... Ah, oh, I hate this. Too much brain recalibration to not shoot the enemy until it's dead and then use your item, or use your item when you get into the room. Like, trying to get an enemy with your item. It's one of the reasons I don't tend to make much use out of the red and black, the red and blue candles. Because trying to calibrate your brain to use the spacebar item to attack the enemy, rather than just your tears, especially when your tears are pretty good, Kind of doesn't make much sense. It's not easy, basically. If your tears are good, they're just the default thing that your head's going to do. That your brain's going to use to defeat the enemies. Ah, uh, I think this is probably worth it. I don't really want to necessarily go into the curse room unless there's a secret room here. No. Um, but we could wedge ourselves back here and pick up some of the extra HP that we've already got on the ground. To continue playing that, and if it's half a heart, which is not, but it could in future be, we could also use the invincibility that we get from going down to a half heart interval from this Joker. I don't really want Mom's toenail. Um, 
We could use the permanent Polaroid invincibility to continue to play it, or if we really wanted to be clever, we could try getting down to permanent Polaroid invincibility from that. Stop firing, you can't see. Uh, from that thing. Ow, okay. You say so. Um, I get into the curse room from it, which would be also nice. So, maybe a secret room here? Nope. I also want to see if there's a secret room on this side of the curse room, because that will basically solve all my problems at once. Not the best... Not the easiest spot to try and find a curse, a secret room, to be honest. Kind of indeterminate whether I did that right. There is not a secret room there. We're okay. Because this border of it couldn't possibly have one, therefore there is not one. Although there is another border of it. Right, that's very dangerous and I don't like it. There is another border of the sec of the curse room that could have a secret room, but now we don't have any bombs, so it is what it is. I think I'll take the matchstick over the fish head, because we already have plenty of flies. The matchstick will produce more bombs, and maybe we can get into the curse room as a result of them. Don't really want Maggie's faith. It could give us some survivability on future floors, but honestly, I'd rather that simply $3 bill stop giving of exploding tears, which then stop you know, exploding into us. How do I get rid of this before it stamps on you? So mom's toenail causes the mom foot from that um, card that does that thing to come down upon you. Oh my god. It ran out just as I got to it. It's good thing we've got nine lives, but seriously. Here, yeah, the high priestess. Well. High priestess or death, I guess. We can't get out. It's just <laughs> very, very scary. Okay, that wasn't good. And the reason that wasn't good is that I tried to use the permanent Polaroid invincibility to get into the curse stream, and it ran out just as I walked through the door, and I did not anticipate that. Luckily, we have many flies, which means that unless our own tears get us, or an enemy explodes, or something horrible like that, we should be okay. Plenty of bombs, but not much other advantage. Please, advantage. No! But we just have to beat Skolex without getting hit. That is possible. In fact, I think with piercing shots, Skolex should be quite easy. Especially if uh, our holy light shot wants to stomp down on it when it's actually vulnerable. That'd be brilliant. So here's... Oh, okay, HP, good. Um... Just go. <laughs> Honestly, I thought that Crackjacks gave us a spirit heart, but obviously it gives us a heart. The problem with this is that without Goathead or more spirit hearts, we don't have a huge opportunity to get a deal with the devil on this floor, or a Joker card, I suppose. Um, and without those things, we can't make Empty Vessel work. I mean, again, we've got nine lives, so... It's not like it's the end of the world if we spend all our HP on something, although being said, nine lives will spawn us with HP again, so we want to make sure that we have zero red HP, but I'm thinking maybe Empty Vessel is not going to work for us, and I think we have to be okay with that. We have to accept that we've made an investment that is not going to pay off. Uh, and the reason for that is that we have no guaranteed way of producing Spirit Hearts, and Empty Vessel only works if you are only on Spirit Hearts. And so we don't have the survivability required to make... Ow. Empty vessel work. And we took red heart damage again as a result of our freaking tears. Which exploded in our faces. Just looking for the super secret room anywhere I can find. To be honest. Maybe the secret room is here. Okay, good. We have actually found one secret room this whole game. Pills. Magic mush. Not either. Very well. Our luck stat must be abysmal. This is our first Eden run since we picked up... Uh, Crown of Light, and therefore got a million and one awesome points. So it's going to take a little bit of getting used to having random stats and random start, random starting items every run, but we can do it. Do be careful of explosions, 007. Now that we've got a decent bomb economy going on, thanks to this trinket, no doubt. Um. Quite happy to spend at least a few of them looking for 
like doing sort of a Hail Mary on super secret rooms for the clients. That could actually make everything amazing Weave for us. A fortune. Uh, I want to play this one, but not that one. Because this one could give us spirit hearts and better trinkets. Chariot would be better if we had another one of those demon judgments, but for now I'm okay with it. I think we just blow this one up now. Let's get it out of our way. Give yeah, us some more coins to play this one with, but I really want the payouts from this one, and I'm tempted to take Shoot the Whoop here. Because I don't know if our flies are better than it. Yeah, we'll take Yera. We've got enough keys. When we get to the chest, we can double the chests that we get and see if we can get more decent items. Oh my god, please. <laughs> he gave me some shitty trinkets and then stopped paying out at all. Makes me sad. I'm going to spend all my money on this and don't think that I won't. There's Spirit Heart, that's exactly what we need. It's a very expensive way of getting Spirit Hearts, but it's currently the only way to get Spirit Hearts. Uh, at least in a semi-guaranteed fashion until it explodes and pays out with something else. Um, which itself could pay out with Spirit Hearts, so I think we spent a lot of HP by accident recently. To be fair, a lot of it was unavoidable damage, and that is a danger of having $3 bill and Cricket's head on the same run. Um, but a lot of it was avoidable damage caused by just bad play. I wonder if I want the callus as well. This is actually not paying out at all, which is surprising. So we... Oh, there we go. We do want uh, as many spirit hearts as we can get a hold of, but I think we keep Guppy's head. Oh, the shoot the whoop is very tempting. I think our, our tears are good enough, but shoot the whoop doesn't really lend... Oh my god. Fire mine death touch tears is... Just in, inconceivable too. So the space is fine, especially with the Yarrow Rune. Um, our tears are good enough that I don't mind not having Shoot the Whoop because they have all the effects of Shoot the Whoop. Uh, plus now we also have flies on top of them, which is super advantageous. I am confusing shoot, uh, t uh, Toxic Shock with Fire Mind because the effects are visually similar. They're just a different color, which doesn't help. Uh, HP here, apparently. Thank you. We know where the boss is now because we used the crystal ball, which has given us insight into the, the map, which is nice of it. We still need to keep away from these enemies, just in case we suddenly get explodey tears again. Oh, it's hard. So a lot of the HP that I've lost recently has been wasted, no doubt. Can I get some more cash here? Sure, we'll use that to do it. Because if we find... Uh, Coin beggar or another one of those. Um, what? What's happening? Another one of those uh, arcade machines, those fortune teller machines on any future floor. We're going to want the money for it because they're going to be able to pay out something particularly useful. Bad trip uh, is the opposite of what I want. I want good trip, which could be full health actually in future, but we can only carry one of these items, so we really don't want to. Gamble on a full health pill just uh, at the expense of Yara, basically. She's a Hagalas room now, it doesn't really affect those too much. Having the. Okay, there was a creep there and I did not see it. Look down, it's not what I want either, but there is a Tinter Drop here. Thank you for that. Having the Piercing Tears is actually extremely handy right now, like, indescribably useful. The way, only way I can describe it is to use the word indescribably and hope you understand. Because, apart from the fact that it just wasted Mom's heart with no ill effects to ourselves, it, it literally means that any enemy that is firing tears at us in an unexpected way, or a sort of a retributional or just battle sort of manner, is very hard countered by it. Like those things that land and do four shots orthogonally, it means we can just keep shooting through the shots. Mom's heart, keep shooting through the shots. Uh, most of the enemies that we're going to face on the chest, i.e. fucking hell, bosses, are going to be pretty well countered by that. So I'm very, very nervous about accidentally firing a shot.
shop that explodes. Ooh, two luck upgrades is more than going to make up for the fact that we had luck downgrades earlier, which is that pill. Um, I'm very nervous about the fact that Firemind keeps showing up. And also, kind of another thing that is also exploding up in my grill is when flies manage to explode an explodey enemy before I've had the opportunity to realise there is one and get away from it. It doesn't happen quite so often, but it's definitely those bomb flies are a culprit for that. I'm going to keep this uh, bomb trinket as well, because I think that maybe having a uh, opportunity for secret rooms, that was a very lucky guess. You may be wondering how I knew. I did not know. Uh, I'm thinking these bombs, especially with this extra money, could be super advantageous to us because um, a coin beggar could actually pay out with something that heals us as well as giving us more HP. Like another heart container. And the batteries are nice as well. We did get contract from below, by the way, from the demon beggar that I was talking about earlier. It's not that useful, except on the chest if the chest is going to pay out with iron chests. We can open both of them. Infinite bombs is also nice. Super secret room could actually be super, super secret decent for us right now. Because uh, it will give us two iron chests. It will give us two of every chest that's going to drop on the chest, which is actually excellent. Uh, basically wins us this run, provided that those chests contain decent stuff. Oh, that was absolutely worth it. Let me do it again. Not really worth it. I will spend keys on this. I haven't seen one of these for quite some time. Um, yeah, that's empty. So the, the opportunity gain, just the uh, the value, the opportunity value that we get from, do we know where it is now? From uh, having more chests on the chest is worth the HP that we spent on it. Probably even considering that I screwed up the trying to get into the first room afterwards game. Even that HP was worth it, especially since we didn't die as a result. I didn't know how to dodge, my brain refused to cooperate. Remember to use the Yarrow Rune. Uh, my reflection is not helping, but... There we go. Uh, when we can stand still like this, this is another advantage, by the way, of um, piercing... Lost contact piercing shots, is that we can stand stock still for a while, and this will double our fire, like our rate of fire, sort of in a 2020 fashion, because we have multi-dimensional baby, which will eventually catch up to us, right? So we just need to stand still, eventually multi-dimensional baby shows up. I can you know see what? forever. Yeah, just in case it was there, I thought I'd step out and see. Um, multi-dimensional baby will eventually catch up to us and just be exactly what we need. So here we are on the chest. Use the Yarrow Rune, which I did bring. Yara. Open all the chests. Uh, uh, Monster's Lung could be great. Let's try that. Monster's Lung Tractor Beam could be interesting. Might as well take Kane's other eye, which is bullshit. Might as well take an attack fly. We'll take some extra bombs. I'm not going to take number two, and I'm not going to take Taurus, because the speed downgrade is going to be sufficiently bad. That's interesting. But the speed downgrade from Taurus is going to be sufficiently bad that we just won't know how to handle the start of the route. Wow, we just one-shot these things with the amount of... Haha, <laughs> do you see that? That was really good. Uh, we won't be able to... What am I trying to say? We'll be so slow when we first enter a room that we're liable to take a lot more damage than we would save simply by not taking it in the first place and beating at the enemies normally. You know, having the Taurus actual effect is not necessarily that valuable. Don't stand right in front of those, by the way. Another unexpected synergy of piercing shots there. Oh, that's interesting. Ooh, guppy. Da, 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 da. You know what? Let's go for empty vessel as well. Now we can fly. Oh, wait. We could already fly. That <laughs> what are the chances of that? Right, we're guppy. We have nine lives. We have... I was going to say, the unexpected synergy that we got was that the piercing shots mean that toxic shot tears, toxic mysterious liquid tears, actually need to creep underneath the stationary enemy. Normally, if we're firing toxic tears at a stationary enemy like Gerdy, like those, um, what's the names? Your, my tears have gone down. 
Your creeper's going to land in front of them and do no value. I have no purpose. Yeah. I don't really want this money anymore. Um, but if it goes through the enemy, it continues to leave creep and leaves creep underneath the enemy, thereby doing more damage to them. Answers will tell us where to go. It gives us the answers. <laughs> Maybe that's the joke that they're making. I hadn't thought of that. We can't be hurt by creep. We might as well take every pill because we have no sense of justice. I'm a sore winner, okay? We have won this run. There is no two ways about it. That's a shit reroll. I re-rolled Guppy's head because we don't need it. We have empty vessel, which means we'll occasionally be invincible like that. Thank you for the demonstration. Which means we can use our orbital. I probably should have gone to the super secret room, but who cares? This is a one run. It's quite long, but we were being very careful. Uh, a little bit min maxi, but hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. And that is the first of many Eden runs between now and the... Uh, the appearance of Afterbirth Plus, at which point there will be no doubt even more things to stress out over being unable to collect, even more challenges to try. So I hope you will join me for that, I hope you will join me for the next run, and I'll see you then.